every good rowing coach imparts the kind of self-discipline required to achieve the ultimate from mind, heart and body. Which is why most ex-oarsmen will tell you they learned more in the racing shell than in the classroom. In a sport like this, hard work, not much glory, well, there must be some beauty which ordinary men can't see, but extraordinary men do. It is hard to make that boat go as fast as you want to. The enemy is the resistance of the water. But that very water is what supports you. And that very enemy is your friend. So is life. The very problems you must overcome also support and make you strong in overcoming them. Rowing is perhaps the toughest of sports. Once the race starts, there are no timeouts, no substitutions. It calls upon the limits of human endurance. The coach must therefore impart the secrets of the special kind of endurance that comes from mind, heart and body. One of the first admonitions of a good rowing coach is pull your own weight and the young oarsman does just that when he finds out that the boat goes better when he does. To be of championship caliber, a crew must have total confidence in each other, confident that no man will get the full weight of the pull. My ambition has always been to be the greatest shell builder in the world. I believe I have attained that goal. If I were to sell the stock, I feared I would lose my incentive and become a wealthy man but a second-rate artisan. I prefer to remain a first-class artisan. <laughs> 